Welcome out of the warm up. Look at peep the jersey, bro. Peep the jersey. Look at this. We got an end season tournament jersey. I got the best wife in the world. Check this out. Yeah. PG 13, baby. We out here. So I'm very excited. We got a good week. This we got a good week this week, dog. New video every single day this week. This is quarter season review week. Let's go. So today I'm gonna be talking about the top five players in the quarter season review so far. So that means past 20 games, I waited until every team played 20 games, a little more than 20, just because, I mean, I had finals last week, and so I didn't want to do it last week, so I can do this week because I have nothing this week. So that's what we got going on. And I'm just going to be talking about just this little section, right? So if we got the whole season, we got like four 20 game sections to make the 82 game season like that's what we got okay so i'm just going to be going off this so my all my lists for this week are just gonna be this little tiny 20 game section not anything else i'll be having predictions obviously but just reviewing what's happened in the past 20 games okay so remind yourself of that <laughs> also i want to shout out everybody who went crazy on the james harden video that's up to like 15k i think as of right now um in like 24 hours which is ridiculous that's in terms of my channel standards that's like six times seven times as many views as i normally get or no as my highest video excuse me my highest video is like 2.5k i think and then this one has like fifteen thousand. so shout out to y'all bro like a ton of comments ton of likes we more than doubled our subscriber count so shout out to everybody who joined the warm-up welcome <laughs> welcome to the to the warm-up baby it's getting warm homie so again like 160 subscribers in like 24 hours that was insane so i'm staying consistent bro I like what I'm seeing. You guys like what you see, obviously, if you sub. Let's go. So what I want to do with this is I want to just create a community. I want people to talk ball. Not just Clippers fans, even though I'm a Clippers fan and I like that. And we got the new jersey out. Let me peep that. Let me see. Hey, yo, let's go. Um, but I want, to, I want to create a community of people who just want to talk ball and just discuss. And ain't no, po ain't, ain't no positivity. It's all positivity. Ain't no animosity. Ain't no hateful crap. Positive, give me your honest take, and let's respond to this talk, okay? Let's make this a fun thing. Let's do this. I just want to do this. So, talking about talking about ball. Let's talk about some ball, okay? So, we got <laughs> number five on the top five players of the quarter season review week. We got Jason Tatum, okay? Jason Tatum tells us the best team in the league, statistically, and in the records. And he's kind of dipped from last year in terms of points per game, but just by a little bit. He's averaging 27 this year, whereas he finished with 30 last year. Uh, and he's only taking two less shots a game, so you can kind of see, okay, two less shots. That's like four points on two, six points if you make two threes a game, right? So, drops down a little bit. You can see how that drops down. I mean, you got Chris Asperzingas, you got Drew Hardy on the team now, so it makes a little bit more sense about why he's taking less shots. Um, on the exact same efficiency, too, which is kind of insane. So, Tatum is good. I like Jason Tatum. But y'all know that I define superstar by being like an MVP or a, the best player on a championship team. So we named some of those guys off like Giannis, Jokic, Braun, KD, Steph. I mean, in the past, like Harden, Westbrook, Embiid now, right? You won MVP. I, I deem those guys as superstars, basically just MVP. If you have not won MVP or you're not the best player on a championship winning team, I don't think you're a superstar. Tatum is literally the best non-MVP, best non-champion player in the league. So out of all those guys, Tatum is literally like right here, right here. Like Luka's like here too. Like Luka's been doing good, but they just no MVP and no, and, and that sucks that that's how it is, but he has everything he needs. I just, I just want to see him take this jump. Like why isn't he the leading scorer in the league right now? Like why isn't he just like frick everybody else? I know we got good teammates. I'm gone, right? He's on the same level. I mean, it's Paul George, actually. That's hilarious that, like, I'm wearing a PG jersey. PG was always like that. I mean, Kawhi had, uh, he's, he's the best player on a championship team, right? But PG was like, he was good, but he does a lot. Great offensive, great defensive player. Really close to winning MVP. It'd be interesting. If, if Tatum wins MVP he, this year, he moves up to the superstar rank, 100%. He's, he's already there. He's done everything he needs to do. Five conference finals in his career so far, I think six. It's a lot. It's a lot. But I, I don't see him getting much better as a player. I, I'm obviously probably going to be wrong. Let's, let's keep it real. But, but as of right now, when I see numbers dip like that, and it's like, oh, you say you're like the next Kobe and you're like got the same mentality, but like not that scoring a lot of points is, but it, I just want to see that from him. Like he can do that and he can be one of the best players in the league, but he's just, he's just fifth right now, which is not bad, but he's fifth. 
So number four, LeBron James. Okay. And I know everyone's gonna be like, but LeBron, blah, 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 blah. right? We got LeBron haters all over the place. This isn't me going crazy on LeBron and blah, blah, blah. But like in terms of this chunk of the season, the in-season tournament happened. So that was the biggest competition that happened. Okay. That was the highlight of this chunk. LeBron went 7-0. The Lakers went 7-0. LeBron won in-season tournament MVP. They floored every team they played against, okay? And they made it to the Western Conference Finals last year starting 2-10. And, and they made changes, and LeBron obviously is like the GM, and so he had a, a say in changing that. But they've got a lot of the same guys, and they're above 500 this season. Like, he, LeBron is obviously a key part of that. And I, it's, it's mainstream what I'm about to say. I just don't know how to say it. So just just listen and come in close, okay? What LeBron is doing is utterly ridiculous. Like, it's crazy what he's doing at his age. Like, the most someone's averaged in their 21st season was Dirk with like 7.1 points per game. And LeBron's almost averaging 25 in season 21. He's still good. He's the fourth best player in the NBA right now in terms of this little chunk, okay? If I, if I see comments about, oh, blah, 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 and you're not referencing the fact that I'm referencing this little chunk of the past 20 games, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about in the league for the whole season. I'm just talking about right now. This list, this list could be 100% different, and I guarantee it'll be 100% different the next time. I'm just saying for right now, any player who goes 7-0 and wins the tournament MVP, that they'd be in this position too. It just happened to be LeBron, and LeBron is also playing very, very well, obviously. So that's my LeBron take number four. Third best player, Nikola Jokic, former two-time MVP, one-time champion. He will be third in triple doubles by the end of the season. I, I, I firmly believe that. He's not very far away. He's Jokic, man. He's gotten a lot better on defense. I like. He's got good hands. He's in passing lanes. He's not like Colin Sexton where he's like, I'm up in your face. I'm going to like lock you down. He's just always like, I'm here. And then he sees the ball. He's like, Boom, give me that. Like it just, He's just fast on defense, right? Very, very smart player. Very intelligent player. He's not playing as well as he could be. I think that's because Jamal Murray has been out and it's been hard and they've kind of played some good teams and it's been difficult. They lost the Thunder by like one point the other night. Uh, and if I had to pick a favorite to win the title this year, probably would be the Nuggets, but it wasn't. I wasn't as sure with that as I was at the beginning of the season when they were just crushing people first like 10 games. They've kind of dipped off a little bit. And I'm not sure anymore. I really do not have a pick to win the finals. And obviously my default is the Clippers because duh. <laughs> Clip, Clip Nation. But like, it, it, he's not the, obviously the best player in the league anymore. He's not obviously the number one best player in the league anymore. And it's just, he just dropped down. Number three is still really good. He's still playing out of his mind. Scoring, rebounds, assists. I think he's leading the league in rebounds right now with like 13 or 14. He's playing well. Just not better than these next two guys. And not better than number two, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Same thing, former MVP, twice, back-to-back, one-time champion, defensive player of the year. Not too long ago, he scored 64 points with shooting no threes. Or, excuse me, he shot three threes. Didn't make a th- single three. 64 points on zero threes. And that shot him up to third on the scoring list. He's averaging 32 points per game now, which is crazy. So, defense is getting better and better. I'm a little worried about his pairing with Dame. The fluidity of their duo, I think it's him stuttering a little bit. Um, not too much because, I mean, he's scoring a ton of points. I'm not that worried about it, but there are times where it just looks a little clunky and like fumbly, right? And so, um, him as a player, I mean, 64 points, pretty impressive. That's the highest so far this season. I think the next guy probably will eclipse that, um, depending on a certain performance, but Giannis playing very well. I'm interested to see how they will do in the playoffs. We are a long time away from that. We are more than 60 games away from even thinking about that. But playing very well for the, this this part of the season, this little chunk. Once again, I'm gonna just keep doing this right here. So, <laughs> um, but number one, Joel Embiid. He's the reigning MVP. And let's come come close, get, get close, ready. He's going to get a third straight scoring title this season. Three straight scoring titles, and he's a seven foot one center. Okay, he's averaging the highest points per game as a center since Bob McAdoo in 1975. And McAdoo averaged 34.5 points per game. And Bede is averaging currently 34.2. He has sat out eight fourth quarters entirely this season because he scored 30 or 40 points up 
to the third quarter and sits the fourth quarter because he doesn't need to play. That is dominance, okay? And here, I know what you're thinking. A lot of people have been like, oh, he's shooting a lot of free throws. Past six games, he's only attempting eight per game. So that means if you have a 50 bomb, which he has in the past six games, you got a 50 bomb and you're averaging eight free throw attempts per game, you might not even make all eight points. That's max eight points. So that's max 42 points without any free throws. He's, if you have not watched Joel Embiid this season, watch Joel Embiid. He is the best player by far this season. And his team looks very, very good. We'll get into that in a second. But some of the stuff he does is just absolutely guard like. Like he's like, dude, you're seven foot one, like 275. Like, how are you like cross tween between the legs, step back, and just like, uh, like, like for a three? Like, he might have a chance to jump up the all-time rankings if he can secure a chip this season, which we'll get into that. I just talked about I'm not very sure on the whole finals matchup situation. But out of the East, they're looking really good because if like if the Celtics do not have Porzingis, I get they have Al Horford, the Embiid stopper. But the way the Embiid's playing this season, I don't think that's going to matter. If they do not have Por- Christoph Porzingis on the team and they play them in the playoffs, like Eastern Conference Finals potentially, the Celtics are not winning that game. It's wraps. You're not stopping Joel Embiid. He is going crazy. That's how he's been playing. This this chunk. We'll see. He might dip off later. But averaging 34 points over 20 games is good for anybody, right? So, nothing else to say with him. He's my back-to-back MVP in my book. He's going to win MVP again this year. Like, it'll be very interesting to see. Um, and let's talk about a little bit of a pattern. I'm, I'm kind of teasing a little video coming out soon about my centers and the resurgence of centers. That's the title of the video, so get ready for that. But... Giannis, MVP. Next season, MVP, championship. Okay, back-to-back, championship on the second MVP. Jokic, MVP. Second season, MVP, championship. You see the the thing here? Embiid, MVP. I think Embiid is going to repeat. So if he repeats and get a championship, Giannis, Jokic, and Embiid will all be two-time MVPs and have a championship. And then it just comes down to where do they fit on the all-time ranking. And that skyrockets Embiid to be close towards the top 15. Like, and he's not very old. Like, that's that's insane, right? And so, all these guys are about the same age. This is the 2020s. Is and this basically this top five. Except maybe LeBron. LeBron is... Put Luka in for LeBron. Take those guys out, right? Embiid, Giannis, Jokic, Tatum. And then you put... Let's put Luka there just because I put Luka. Right? So, yeah. That's my top five. Embiid's the best player in the NBA. If you've not watched Embiid play this season, watch Embiid. He's going crazy. Averaging 34 points per game. It's been going up. He was like 32, then 33, then 34. And if he gets to 35, oof. The fact that he's sitting out fourth quarters entirely is nuts. And that's not even counting how many games he's like sat out half the fourth quarter. Like that's probably like 10 to 12. So once again, going back to talking about the community, reach out guys, comment. I'm going to interact. I interact with as many comments as I can. Granted, I got 150 on my last video. I'm still working on that. <laughs> but I want to have conversations. I like that's what I do. So talking about conversation community, follow them on the the Twitter at the warm up five or the warm up six. It's in the description. Check it out. Instagram, TikTok, you know, I got Facebook too. If you want Facebook, I'll look it up. I'll link everything. So check that out. Um, yeah, bro. That's my top five. So subscribe, hit the notification bell if you're new here, because we've got such a big week happening this week. You're not gonna want to miss these takes. In the next <laughs> next couple of days. So very, very fun time. Got top fives every single day this week. It's getting warm, homie. Let's go. Let's do this thing.